Hey, what's up, guys? It's Agamatsu, and I'm here with All the Sword and Bum Exploder YouTubers, the infamous, the famous Exploder YouTubers. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick. Okay, I'll go first. Um, I'm Bum. I make videos sometimes. They're kind of funny. Uh, okay, your turn. I am Alisu226, and I do make videos, and I'm goaded. True. Alright. Well, uh, let's start off with the interview then. So, do you guys realize how much of an influence you guys been towards the exploiters and the rogue lineage community? No. Oh. Oh, uh, well. For me, I really do have an impact somewhat because uh, what I've done I, is basically I've made like a bunch of people buy Coinage and then I brought their sales up a bit. And that's basically what I've done. And uh, I know I've been like making the game kind of like shit, but it's not my fault, it's their fault. I'm guessing you're saying like the developers. Okay. Oh, what'd you say? It, do you mean like it's the developer's fault that that's the way the game is? Or the people who made Cornage? Is it their fault? Yeah, it's Cornage. And Bum, you're about to say something? And... Uh, I kind of just fucking go around and kill everyone and then everyone start copying me and kind of made the game game canter for like a solid week. That's about all. Alright. Well then, um, on to the next question. If you guys could ever make an exploit, would you guys do it and would you sell it? Or would you keep it to yourself? Of course I'll I would go. fucking sell it. Of course, because there's so many fucking desperate people willing to buy exploits, and if I put my name on it, I can make so much money. Unbelievable amounts of money if I put my name on it. Oh, uh, well, uh, I guess that's a, that's a very good point. And Bum, you said you do the same? Yeah, dude, people will buy anything in this fucking game. It's actually hilarious. Um, so... When did you guys exactly stop playing Rogue Lineage legit, and why? As soon as I made Cast Rock bannable. Oh, for me, it's just, uh, I was walking around as a Casper, and then I got shit on by some Ultra. And I got mad, and then I executed Nonsense Diamond, and my main account blown up, so I guess there's like... And then I found like, uh, I found out what Synapse was, so... I just got that, flew around and got my class easily because I didn't feel like grinding. Alright. Um, so what are your opinions about the memes surrounding you guys in the Rogue Lineage community? Uh, for example, people always say, oh, Allah Sword Edict, as an example. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he has Allah Sword Edict if they see an exploiter flying. How do you guys feel about that? Overused, I'm funny. Overused, unfunny, yeah, exactly what he said. It was funny in like the the beginning, but then it started to die out. Yeah. Sure. So right now, like for you guys right now, is it actually still fun to exploit or do you guys not really enjoy it as much as you used to? Fuck no, the game's so shitty now. It's on. It's still funny. You go flying around the fucking nine-year-old named Pedro, and then they say recorded, reported, and then hours later you're still not banned. It's so funny. I stopped, but originally I just flew around and killed killed everyone, and I made multiple videos on it. It took me weeks to get banned after killing everyone in multiple servers for like a solid couple days. All right, that's pretty interesting. Um, do you guys have any particular thoughts on the moderators in the Rogue Lineage community? Anybody specifically? Um, I don't know any specifically. I know Colin does a piece of shit, but that's about all. Oh, they're, they're all my best friends. Me and the mods were skin tight. <laughs> me and Forefathers were like blood brothers. All the mods love me. They love my videos, and I'm so glad they support me. <laughs> All right, well, on to the next question. How do you feel about the more new exploits, I guess you can say, in Rogue, where you can, like, attach to somebody's back? 
No, it's called Backstab. It's fucking hilarious. I love killing everyone with it. It's That's the funny. funniest shit I've ever seen. Is that what Cap Casino made a video on? He said it was dangerous or something yeah. like that. I think he did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's kind of fucking annoying since there's like no counter to it. Since there's usually, I don't know, it's just a skill issue when niggas get shit on with no stun. <laughs> yeah, true. I see. Um, what would you do, or what are you guys going to do when Rogue eventually dies, and what would you do if Deep Woken failed? Well, uh, it's already dead. Um, Deep Woken will probably fail also. And if they, if Deep Woken did fail, right, I would eventually shift over to different games, such as God's Domain, right? Me and Allsart are both testers. Pretty good game. I recommend everyone to join the Discord. Right? Do you agree, all sword? Fuck you. Uh. <laughs> well, what was the question again? Repeat it. What would you do if Rogue Lineage died and if Deep Oaken failed? Oh, Rogue Lineage. Oh, it's never gonna die. There's always gonna be, uh, like I said, the nine year old's named Pedro who's gonna play the game. And, uh, people will say it's dead, uh, retarded. I'm sorry. The game always has. <laughs> 2k play so that's funny because uh, bum uh, just uh, said uh, it died <laughs> nah, it's this it's just the same fucking people it's so boring now dude and deep woken if deep woken fails i don't really care i'm not gonna exploit that game I'll, I'll still be a youtuber on that game but i'm not gonna exploit i don't really care is there any specific reason why you won't exploit on deep woken like do you have respect for the game or oh yeah i i definitely have respect for the game and this and there's like too many opportunities to play with people I know and to play with my uh, subscribers. So, yeah, no point. And what I'll about you, Bum? I have respect for it once it comes out. All right. So, how, how would you guys feel or what do you think would change in the past if Rogue Lineage had a really strong anti cheat? Would you still be the people you are today? Probably not. I don't think That's so. a difficult question. You know what? Yeah, I'm agreeing with him. Probably not. Even I'm assuming that you guys probably wouldn't have started your YouTube channels. Yeah, I wouldn't have started. Yeah, pretty much. My whole channel thing we started it after. Uh, I fought Gopnik like a year ago with exploits. If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be able to record anything at all. Well, interesting. I, I was expecting that you guys would say probably the same, but that's actually an interesting answer. Um, so why did you guys exactly? Oh, actually, no. Never mind. Here's another question. Have you guys ever used any sort of exploiting bots or Castle Rock bots to farm exploits or anything? I mean, farm artifacts or anything like that? Yes. Of course not. I'm a, I'm a legit grinder. Even if I do exploit, I'm going to be a man and use ESP. But the time where I did farm Castle Rock by myself was on my was on a Vin Spy Spider Cloak, and then I got white-headed, so yeah. So there's no point in using bots because I'll get white-headed. So what do you guys... Artifact oh, bots. Apologies. I don't care what anyone says. Alright, well that's uh, interesting to yeah. say. Do you think that even people like in the close community like moderators use things like that? Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude. Every time my artifact bot went off. Vega Mudok was in the same exact server every fucking time I joined. I'm not kidding. Interesting. And she would take my artifacts. So, why do you guys personally think, or what are your guys' reasons as to why Rogue died? And if you guys say it isn't, then explain that. I know Allosword, you already gave your reason, but bum. Uh, shit mods, shit anti-exploit. Um... 
So you're saying that if we had a, if let's just say that the game started off with a really, really, really strong anti-cheat, and the mods, let's just say in your opinion, were better, you think Rogue would still have like five, six K players or something like that, or would have five, six K players? I think it would definitely have more, but it, or I, I think yeah, I think it would still be alive, or more alive. Uh. It's not really about like the anti-cheat or anything, but the fucking balance patches, holy shit. It take like an eon to push out a balance patch, and then when they do, it ends up being a shitty balance patch. They give Mana Flood the 0.5 second cooldown, holy shit. Interesting. True. Sure. So, do you guys think that anything you've done contributed to something positive in some sort of way? Yes. I uh, think so. Could you elaborate? No! Um, well, I tell everyone all the time that Rogue is a shit game and they should stop spending so much fucking money on it. And a lot of people quit. Because these little kids spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on black markets. And it's just disgusting. Hmm. Uh, repeat the question. Do you feel like you've contributed to anything with exploiting in any sort of positive way whatsoever? Oh, uh, yeah, by exploiting, by creating the YouTube channel and exploiting, people found it funny, and I've made, like, I've found, like, a lots of people who enjoyed my videos, and then I spoke to them on Discord, and then that led me to, like, doing jobs and shit like that and me being able to give away like let's say like 20,000 robux and shit like that if you saw any of my like art competitions if i never met any of the people from my youtube i wouldn't be able to give shit away all right i see so you're saying like you've given back to the community with what you've done yeah basically but it's been more negative than uh, positive since you already know uh, tons of those people, they buy coinage and then they go around saying all the sort of location while killing people, attaching to the backs and shit. Me personally, I don't mean, I don't even be killing anybody with uh, exploits besides that one time I threw the guy in off the map, but yeah. All right. Have you guys ever considered making an exploit yourself? No. Too lazy. And I didn't know how hook function worked back then, so... Yeah. So, how did you guys each come up with the names Sword and Bum, respectively? It's kind of a long fucking story. Well, go ahead and explain it. Well, my, my name used to be Bumfuzzle, right? Because mm. when I was like nine years old, I googled funny names, right? And the first one was Bumfuzzle. And then eventually people started calling me a bum and an asshole and a faggot. So eventually I just changed the name to Bum. Although there's a lot more stuff that goes into that, but it's kind of just elaborated. All right, and Allosword? Oh, it's just chilling and shit like i don't know i was watching i was watching tv and i was like oh and i was like holy shit i was watching some funny ass arab mean and i was like oh my god i'm a genius and then i made the name allosword i don't remember where the 226 came from it might have been the catchy part i don't know that's basically it so here are a couple uh questions regarding like the game itself what are your guys' favorite classes in rogue and why? Um, Abyss Walker, because it's brain dead. I like to play Spy mainly because I can just like toneless spam and then people will like... People will call me shit for it and it's kind of funny. Since uh, if you probably watch my videos in the past, I kind of justify the retarded classes that need to be nerfed while also uh, playing homeless spy like a bitch it's funny all right is there a specific artifact that you really like using or a favorite artifact per se 
Uh, for me, it's uh, Riff Gem because, first of all, they go for $100 on the black market. Uh, second of all, free TP, so I love it. I've never really used an artifact, I just sell them. Probably, um, probably Spider Cloak. I see. Was there ever a time where, when you're exploiting, you considered actually to stop exploiting? Like you're like, I don't want to just. Definitely. Oh my god. Let me let me tell you this story. It's a bit of an embarrassing story. So, <laughs> one time I made a video on my Uber spy, and then I shit on somebody in a uh, private server, and then I went in game and I started ganking with my good friend. Shout out to YPC Dope. Uh, so I was ganking with him, right? And then, uh, so Dawson was in my lobby and I knew I was going to get banned, but I kept on ganking anyways. And by the way, it was like a 2v fucking 9. They got shit on. So I got banned and I wasn't even exploiting at the time. And I was like, oh my God, man, I, I got banned for no reason. And yeah, I just wanted to stop. And I did stop for like two seconds, but then I realized, holy shit, it's retarded. So I started doing it again. I see. Um, I yeah, definitely a couple times because my alts that I had for Rogue Lineage that were friends with my main account, they would constantly Mudok would constantly fucking raid my servers, and they would just be entire Mudoks in my servers, and I would get banned every time. Hmm. All right. Well, I understand why you would you know. Uh, based off of those stories, I'd understand why you guys would want to quit. Um, so when it comes to the, de the developers themselves, do you have like any message you would want to tell them? Or if you could say one thing to them, what would you say? Uh, Ragoozer is pretty chill. Archmage is just fucking retarded. Archmage is my favorite dev ever. I love you, Archmage. If you somehow see this, I fucking love you. Can, can I please DM you? Can you friend me? I love you, Archmage. Alright, when it comes to Kron and Pain, the guys who own Cornage and Elam, if you could ask them to add one exploit into the game, what would you ask? Um... Mm, I'm not sure. Pain ain't got no brains. Cron too lazy. There ain't nothing I want. And for you, Bum? Probably. Uh, probably the just the hide, the fucking hide name thing that LM used to have, but it got patched. I mean, Elam already has, like, almost every fucking function you could think of, so I can't really think of anything. So, what do you guys prefer better, Elam or Cornage? Elam. Uh, Cornage, because, uh, Elam turned into a piece of shit. I don't know what the fuck happened to that GUI. They added teleport back. I actually, when they added teleport, that was the rise of Elam. And then that shit fell off. It started lagging and banning. Oh my god. The Cornage, it's always like stable. Cornage has had so many ban functions. When is the last time Cornage got updated? Nobody cares about the last time it got I'm talking about in the good days, like uh when it was frequently frequently getting updated. In the good days, yeah. Cornage yeah, but and then Remember when Elon was getting updated and every update some shit like some bug would happen? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's basically it. Elon winning though. No cap. Fuck you. <laughs> Interesting little debate right there. Um, So, assuming that you guys both answered that, you know, when Debone comes out, you guys are most likely not going to exploit. Are you guys still going to plan to continue this image of being infamous exploiters? Because that's how a lot of people will see you at the moment. Like, all the Sword and Bomb, you guys are looked at as, oh, these guys exploit, you know. That's what they do for the YouTube content. So what are you going to do for YouTube when you don't exploit anymore? 
Probably just random shit that makes people laugh, because that's the only thing I like to do. I just love uploading videos I would want to watch myself. But, uh, I don't know. I, I found this good ass game called Grand Peace Online. I'm gonna make videos, I'm gonna make tons of views. I don't even need to exploit. There's a difference between, uh, you know, fuck it. I'm just gonna say it now. My rogue lineage videos get like 2,000 views in the first 24 hours, but if I upload anything else where I'm like not exploiting, I get like two views. I don't really care. But yep. two views is still two views. True. I see. Well, um, if there's anything else you'd like to say, uh, go ahead and say it right now because uh, we've been recording for quite a while, like 20 minutes. So uh, go ahead and say your last final words. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bomb LM. Just Google Bomb LM. Then I pop up. Uh, I'm sorry, Archmage and Ragusa for making like fucking two billion B people by Cornage. Uh, Forefathers, I'm not your biggest fan. Uh, what you call it, Astro Trainer? Uh, I have a question. Are you black? Uh, what else? Uh, to all my haters, uh, you're either nine years old or fuck you. I don't care. Shut up. All right. Anyway, guys, I'll be all for this interview. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.